It looks super repeatable to me. Okay, welcome to Big Bear. This is a bear. A, sorry, it's not a bear. Okay, we're gonna show you, go ahead and move her to the side. That is Mira. It's a six pound Maltese. Okay, so Alexa's gonna show you a couple of new things, some hip lifts we wanted to share with you. So, a um, couple things. Go ahead and show us, um, show us the fire hydrant first. And when we do this, we wanna make sure that this that our support legs, scoot your hips forward a little bit, there you go, that we're beyond, that we're, our hips are in front of our knee, okay? This knee is higher than the, the ankle, very important. We've done this a lot for a lot of years, and so her hip mobility and strength is really good. Once the knee starts going below the, the, um, the ankle, then you, you need to, don't go any higher. Okay, for, uh, next one we'll do is, a uh, trail leg hurdle. So she goes straight back, and then when she comes forward, she brings the knee up, she brings the heel to the, to the butt, and then brings it forward and around. Again, some people need to just go lower, so show a little, little bit lower. Until you have that, that hip strength, you need to go, you need to keep it a little lower. So we want to do, uh, we want to make sure, again, we keep this, this support leg at least at 90 degrees. Very good. Okay, uh, next one we'll do donkey kicks. On this, try not to open the hip up a bunch. We're just going up and see how she's keeping the, the torso nice and rigid. That's, that's really important. Straight up, good. Little corrections, always helpful. Okay, let's show her um, pelvic tilt. So pelvic tilt, we're going about just like maybe three or four inches off the ground, just lifting the, the butt up off the ground and, and keeping the back flat to the ground. So we're rotating, the back goes flat to the ground. And we hold for like 10 seconds, 10 second hold, and, and you'll feel it after a few sets of this. Uh, single, leg. single leg hip lift. So, so um, we're gonna keep this, this knee in line with the other knee. So we're not trying to, to use this, the momentum of this leg to lift the other. We're just keeping this nice and tight, make sure the pelvis stays underneath. And we'll do sets of you know, 10 to 20, depending. We do these on a Swiss ball. We also do them from like an elevated surface as well at times. But for now, I just wanted to introduce these to you and make sure that, that you have these, these kind of basic uh, lifts. Um, so one, one last drill that I'll show you is just, um, you're up over the top of yourself and you're just lifting the knee and the ankle up off the ground. Just like a little side hip lift, side knee lift from a, a seated position. Okay? And leg whoops. And leg whoops, last one. And so she stays, she touches the ground on the other side of the foot. She stays like maybe a foot off the ground and then comes up to where her strength allows her to go and then back to the back. To the back. So go ahead and do the other side. Let's uh, make sure we're even. This is a, this is a, a really good exercise for uh, glute development and, and uh, uh, for women I feel like this is like a huge one for injury prevention. All of these are really big for injury prevention. So this will be like a staple for us. So, all right, thanks.